things are much different now than they were. Mark's um, part of the TBI and PTSD is he's very quick to anger. I don't feel as confident in myself. Um, as a, I forget things. TBI is very complex. You know, they make a list of common symptoms, but it's really, it's hard to explain how difficult it is in ways of one minute. You may be able to remember one or two things, and then the next several minutes you can forget everything. It's very fluid. And, uh, and you have your good days and bad days, and sometimes it feels like it's always bad, and you just can't do anything right, and you get really down on yourself. And it's just tough because Sometimes when you get positive, you think, wow, I'm going to do this. And then you have expectations that would have worked for your old self, but you haven't accepted that you're a new person and it's five years for me and I still haven't figured out who this new person is and how to work with the disabilities I have. I have epilepsy now, so... I have seizures randomly, and when I have one, I'm pretty much out of it for an hour, so I don't remember what day it is, what year it is. I occasionally get um, brief headaches, and I have a spinal cord injury also, so I actually feel no pain or heat on my left side. I feel like my uh, prior education is there, but I'm not able to access it as easily. It takes me much longer to figure things out or remember things. I'm one of the few brain injuries that doesn't have aphasia, which is difficulty speaking. And uh, even though I have half of my skull replaced with a plate, they did such a good job, it's really impossible to see. So when I explain to people you know, I have a brain injury, I have a hearing loss. They're both unseen injuries, and it's hard for them to understand. Our social lives are pretty much non-existent right now with neither of us working. We don't have that job to get us out of the house and have friends. Um, we don't have children, so that's another outlet for, you know, friendships. I've been trying to get out and do as much as I can with uh, veteran organizations and other disability organizations. Um, I'm a member of Chapter 24, um, DAV, Knoxville, Tennessee. I like to help, you know, try to help others in my situation because I feel like with my level of injury, I had a fairly good outcome considering I know many others, the, other, the same injury that aren't doing as well as me and I feel like if I can be a voice for them maybe that would be that would be a good thing and I think being out in the community like that is giving me more confidence in myself and giving me a reason to feel like there's a reason for me to be here <laughs> I try to tell her that she needs to take a break step back take care of herself and she's so dedicated that she feels like she can't step back. It's, it's hard to see her be that hard on herself trying to take care of me and not having time to take care for herself. So it, it gets trying sometimes, but I love him and I have for 11 years, so I'm here, I'm going to stick it out, even if I tease him otherwise.